Here we are again. Get ready for a bedtime story. Tuck yourselves in and get ready for a long winter's nap. <laughs> we live in a tree for one month every year by Raina Hardy. We are fragile, but immortal. Somewhere between mayflies and unicorns. Eleven months of the year, we sleep wrapped in tissue paper in big red boxes. Until we are lifted and carried down and carefully uncovered. By that time, the tree is ready. Covered in lights and red glass balls and golden ribbons. The tree used to be a stranger, every year. A strange-smelling god-like thing, sticky with sap, who knew things we didn't know. But now the tree is more like us. It stays in a red, dark bag in the basement most of the time. Light comes down through the little box lid. It stays on till we hear the only songs we know, and then the girl lifts them off. She has been tall enough now for so many Christmases, and she knows all of us that are worth knowing. She makes sure that we stay by our loved ones and our friends. She makes sure that we do our jobs. The goose girl must await her goose. The giraffe puppet and the top hat lion are married now, <laughs> after a long courtship. The beautiful glass king stag must hang a little hidden from view, with a green or blue light to illuminate him. Only then can his magic and beneficence filter through the house. All of the other precious ornaments must be seen, even if they are new. The old and unlovely are hidden below the window and behind the tree, but never do they stay in the box. The new and unlovely go high, facing the window, but away from the family. They shout back to us about passerbys and dogs, which we have not seen for some time. Angels and moons and suns and stars must go near the top. Birds must nestle in lower branches, except for the doves, which must wait on Galatea. Galatea is the angel that holds the reins of the world. She is lashed to the highest point of the tree, and she watches over all of us. The reins of the world are their golden ribbons. The green satin rocking horse mourned and would not stop mourning the death of the blue satin rocking horse chewed up by a dog. And while he hung sad and lonely low for ever so many years, he is gone now, and no one knows how he went. After we have heard our songs two or three times through, the box is carried away and life begins. We talk and visit and love each other. We watch the people of the house and the people of the street and, the, and we cast our various magic on them. We used to talk to the new tree. We loved to hear about snow and traveling fast above the streets and about other trees and about the, the moment when the old man put his hand on the tree and shook it and chose it for our own and would take it home and string the lights so that the girl could go to work. Oh, the, the strangeness of being strung with lights, <laughs> the feeling of being lit up and be ribboned and becoming a world ruled by an angel. The conversation is different now. The tree has never seen the old man and says it has been strung with lights for as long as it can remember, so it is like talking with another old friend, of an old friend we just met last year. And truly, we think it is better. 
The trees, who were strangers, could never stay long. They changed, as people do, and their marvelous smells would fade. Galatea would tug on her golden ribbons, her face growing sad. And when the old woman would take us off the tree and wrap us up in fresh paper, we would cling to the branches for, and whisper, goodbye. Goodbye. We do not know what changed. We do not know where the dogs went or the blue satin rocking horse or, or the old man. But this year, as we go into the paper, we will just say au revoir, I'll feed her Zane. And we will think of the songs in our sleep, dear tree, until we meet again. We live in a tree for one month every year by Raina Hardy. Good night.